Most Oregonians have no idea there's a major fishery for Pacific whiting off Oregon. Each year, Oregon fishermen harvest between 95 and 135 million pounds of whiting, a volume overshadowing most other fisheries. Each year, enormous schools of adult whiting migrate past Oregon from Southern California to Canadian waters. Many juvenile whiting stay off the Oregon coast to feed year round. Whiting is harvested using midwater trawl nets towed above the ocean floor. The nets seldom touch the bottom of the ocean. The domestic whiting fishery began in the 1980s when Oregon-based fishermen pioneered joint venture agreements with the Soviet Union and other nations during the height of the Cold War. In those days, Oregon fishermen harvested whiting and delivered the catch to large sea-based foreign processor vessels. Later, a fleet of American-based catcher processor vessels from Seattle took over the fishery. Then, in the early 1990s, Oregon fishermen and processors worked with Oregon State University, Oregon Coastal Zone Management Association, and others to document that some whiting could be processed onshore in Oregon. The federal government awarded Oregon fishermen with ground fish permits a shoreside allocation of Pacific whiting. Today, approximately 20 Oregon-based vessels are engaged in the whiting fishery. For years, Pacific whiting was an underutilized resource because the fish protein breaks down rapidly after harvest. Fishermen and processors worked with scientists at Oregon State University's Seafood Lab to develop handling techniques to overcome those challenges. Most vessels store whiting below decks in tanks of refrigerated seawater to prevent spoilage. Fishermen deliver the catch at specialized shoreside processing plants. Whiting is often a main ingredient in crab-flavored surimi seafood, a fully cooked fish protein product. Recently, a growing percentage of the catch has been processed and marketed as frozen fillets and headed and gutted products. Like other Oregon fisheries, Pacific whiting is managed using precautionary principles. On the average, each year, no more than 11% of the overall biomass is harvested.